guys. Well, today is Sunday, last day before going back to work. Uh, so what we're going to try to do today is we're going to try to get these arms, get the new bushings pressed in to the trailing arms, get that bolt fixed if possible, uh, get the new rear end cleaned up and painted and put into to where we have a roller. Once we have a roller, we're going to try to get it outside and pressure wash it, get it all clean, get it, get it prepped for paint. This project was never really meant to be a body off restoration or anything. Uh, I got it. The guy said all I needed to do was put brakes and brakes and wire up the motor. It had an old 350 in it. Uh, the rear end came out of an 82 Chevy Capri. So once I got into it and started trying to get, you know, need to have a radiator, just wired up, just normal stuff. Once I got into it, the motor was held in with three bolts, three three-eighths bolts. Transmission was held in with one. Uh, trans uh, transmission mount wasn't even on it. It was basically just bolted in. No lock washers, no thread locker, no nothing. And from a safety standpoint, I was like, nah, this isn't gonna work. So I, del I dove off into it. It's probably been three years. The running joke with my friends is that it's never going to get done, but I'm making a commitment. Um, I'm kind of putting everything other than the day-to-day -day operations of the goats. Uh, I have 14 goats. Yesterday I got my main billy back who's up for sale or trade. Um, yeah, and I just noticed my mount is completely off, so I might be looking off kilter to y'all. So hold on. All right, we're back at it. So like I was saying, so other than the day-to-day -day operations of my goats, um, when I say day-to-day, -day, basically making sure they're taken care of, they're fed. I've got um, some of my nannies are fixing to drop babies. So I've got to get them, you know, kind of keep, kind of keep an eye on them. But other than that, I have a forge build going on. I kind of really would like to get it done. So we might throw in a little bit of forge work. Um, but the biggest bulk of everything is gonna be the truck. I wanna get it done. I've got the 5.3 LS, I got the transmission rebuilt. I've got the, uh, got the fast EFI kit for it. I, I really just wanna get this done. So I'm dedicating my, all my shop time, unless something just happens and comes up uh, I'm, I'm gonna get this truck done because I really want to drive it. Got it. I've got new aluminum radiator. I got new, you know, I've got a, the, the one thing I still have to really work on is the drive shaft to get it to where it will move. I think you know, other than I got all these parts that I've bought over the years to get into it. So just this, just a little bit. So what we're gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try to get this, you know try to get all this taken care of and get it done. So let's get to it. Like I said, today we're gonna to try to get these trailing arm bushings pushed out. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. I'm gonna to have to come up with something on how to do, uh, I got this press and I got new, you know, I got some press blocks. We just gotta see what we gotta do. So bear with me and we'll get to it.
Probably should have put some looby dooby on this. But we're gonna see. <laughs> That's funny. So, <laughs> push the socket in. This is the first time me using this new press. Well, new to me, I should say. That is interesting. Uh huh. So, we're gonna take a look at the new at the new bushings and see what they look like. All right. So these are the new bushings, courtesy of. LMC trucks. Interesting. Yeah. All right. They're polyurethane. So now we just got to get this out. But I'm wondering, does that whole? No, that doesn't come out. So we just got to get the rubber out now. Trusty hammer. Okay. Flying parts. Uh. So now we just got to get the rubber out. Wonder if the sawzall blade will work. Interesting. Guys, I'm not sure how this video is going to look, but we'll see. Now, what I've decided to do is just go ahead and get these pressed out and then take them over to the workbench and get them on that way. Should work. Make sure we're set here. And we are. So I just made this. Well, not made it, but you know what I'm saying. Be 
working good. That pushed it out really well. Ruby Dooby is your friend. What I'm hoping to do is just cut these. What I'm hoping to do is basically just take a knife and cut these rubbers out because they are deteriorated really bad. The other thing we got to do, we're going to have to do some grinding on that, try to get that bolt out. That was my son telling me that our shop back and everything else is uh brother-in-law's got it which guys i'm starting to get where my memory is just garbage right now so if i say things more than once <laughs> i am getting old all right so we lost the battery Get back to it right here. One of the things I do wear are gloves for the simple fact my hands get tore up all the time. That does. There we go. Yeah. Try that. Now, we gotta get these rubbers out. And I'm kinda hoping they just, they're so deteriorated. They should come out pretty easy. And then that's the air compressor, so we're gonna move. All right, so I had to clean off my table here real quick. Put some tools up. So, basically, I had to just grind off some stuff. We'll go get one of our arms and we'll get it over here and get these in. attempt to do is try to
Sad thing is, I'm just mad. Telling you guys, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. There it is. Try to cut these out. Sharp blade, never cut towards yourself. These things have been in there, probably they're original. They are deteriorated bad. Look at that. It's falling apart. We're gonna make a change real quick on this. See if we can go. Made a change on our video. Trying some new settings. Really don't know how they're gonna work. That might work right there. Maybe not. Probably not. Might have to just cut. Like I said, you guys, these things are old. They're cutting actually fairly easy. The ones I got to put back in it are polyurethane. And they got some stuff on them. Let's just say I call it booger snot. Because that stuff is going as slick as crap. Driver and see if we can pull these things out. Maybe, maybe not. I've got one giant toolbox actually two and then I've got looky there all right they're coming out Telling you guys, I swear these been in there. These were the originals. Looky there. Okay. That's one. We're going to get some stuff and clean that. I think I got some brushes. All right. We're going to get the other one set up. Back. All right, guys. Just so you can see. So on this one, we had to cut the weld off. Let me get you over here where you can see. We had to cut the weld off right here, or cut this bolt off. Well, that bolt goes all the way through. Something I just realized, these are two pieces, I think. Maybe, maybe not. But, there's a bolt right there. And that's a bolt, so we're gonna lube do that up and let it sit for a minute because it's all rusty and cakey. And I believe that'll loosen it up enough for me to get that bolt out and replace it. This one is okay, but in all honesty, if I'm replacing one, that nut is garbage. So We gonna clean these and do all that kind of good stuff, but let's get these up and get going. A lot of 
people know me right now are cringing because I have an instrument of death in my hand. I have been known to cut fingers off. Cuts. Yeah. Yep. It has happened a time or two. But we're just going to be careful. We have 911 on top. It's not a paid presentation, but I bought these a couple weeks ago. These are called Fat Max by Stanley. I'm telling you what, as far as gripping, you know how you always grab stuff with your needle nose pliers? Well, these things don't let go. I like them. They're actually really nice. I don't buy expensive tools just for the simple fact either A, I lose them, or B, I lose them. All right, there's that. I think we're gonna to try to clean that up. See if we can find a different bolt. Paint these with some black paint. I think I've got some. I'm not 100% sure. I need to see if I got a wire wheel. I'm working down here and y'all can't even see me. So we're going to go back to our extra wide mode and see if that helps. Man, isn't that lovely? So we've got these things. Don't know how well they'll work. I'm gonna try them. Somewhere around here, I've got a wire brush that goes on this end of a, of a grinder. But as with everything in my shop, never know where it's at. And that's just because I'm bad about setting stuff down and forgetting where it's at. So we're gonna see what this does. I doubt it does anything, but hey. We'll see. I'm gonna get some brake parts cleaner. Hopefully there's some left. Ah, uh, there's just Didn't do that bad job. Not too shabby.
see what it does on these bolts. Yeah, they got the threads cleaned out. Basically all this is, guys, this holds down the spring perch where the springs sit on. Well, let's try it out, see what happens. We do be extreme. And we're gonna actually read the directions because I've never done these polyurethanes before. It's called Super Grease. Lovely. And these aren't poly, they're urethane. Lovely. Okay, so what it looks like is we get the super duty grease. Two piece, one goes on the outside. So we need to grease this. Told me to use it not sparingly. Never done this. It's gotta be uh this could be getting interesting because I don't know if they're just going to slide in. Okay. <laughs> Can we say, holy crap. one and see if it goes in just as easy. I guess this goes on. And we're done. <laughs> All right. That's actually kind of cool. Ain't that cool? One down. Now 
get some more of them. That actually works fairly decent. Gotta get some more of this too. Alright. Move on to round two. I didn't even have to pound it. Went straight in. You know how many times I've tried to do this, or not tried, wanted to do this. Well, actually, I did on a Jeep, and I had to use the vise to press them in. I didn't have the press at the time, but now, hey, I am not complaining. It could be the Super Duty Grease. You never, you never know. Don't know. Don't even know if I'm supposed to be spreading it out. I'm just putting it in. And to be quite honest with you, watch it slide right in. Goop. Guys, if y'all don't know, I did. I quit smoking 10 years ago. Um, but I. We're gonna try to get this. You gonna be my camera? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see if it splits apart. I don't know if it will. Me neither. We might have to do it a couple different ones. Because it looks like it's combined together. Well, it's combined with a bunch of bunch of garbage. Watch your eyes. What does that do? It's just a cleaner. Oh. So you want to tell people what we're doing? Which, I've been with chickens. I don't know about cars. I'm only in the fourth grade. What? Do what? How do you know so much about cars? I just try to do it. See if I can Hmm. We are trying to split this thing apart, but there's too much gunk in the middle, so he can't. So we're just trying to split it apart and see if it'll work. You might need to finish. take out the screws.
broke it. If. Yeah, damn dog. I had six puppies. Six puppies. No. Which dog? No. Molly. Molly well, there's did. only four. She ate two of them. This? Well, you been up under this morning? No. How'd she I get pregnant? I saw her eating them. No, I went down by the hole that she dug and she was eating two of her puppies. Mother cleaning them up. Mm-hmm. She ate them. What'd she get pregnant by? That damn little black and white dog running around town, a little short fat one. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's been on the one, it's on one I can you know, talk about. Wow. I see, I bet you're gonna have bad arthritis because I put about eight pellets in it <laughs> before he got out of the yard. Uh, he ain't been back. <laughs> yeah, he hadn't been back. Dang. You need a bigger hammer. Yeah. Let's go get him a bigger hammer. Actually, it's right there. The wooden handle one? Uh -oh. I'm just trying to think of what I can do to get get this. Take care of To split it apart. I don't see how he's not scared to break his fingers off. Those are your shields. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're about to split something in there, and I don't think it's going to be that. Put your finger up there. Nope. <laughs> I'd like to keep all of our five people. That did something. That got it. Get a smaller one and put on that side. Yeah. <laughs> looks like it's splitting up in a little bit. Hmm? Said it looks like it's splitting up in a little bit. Take a drill. There you go. That won't fit. Oh. That one might. I got it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a stencil on there. As you see here, he's cleaning it. Squirt her eyeball. <laughs> You got some bolts to go back in there? No. I got measuring. I guess. Look. Mm -hmm. That was cool. And now, he shakes it on the other side. <laughs> That's good. Mm. All right, so got the bolt out. Got bolt to go in it. Do not have the correct threads. These are, I believe, metric bolts. So, going to the store later on, and we're gonna have to get some bolts to fit because we're gonna do this right. So anyway, we're at a stopping point on these other than we're going to clean them and we'll go from there. And then we can get some spray paint and paint them up. Yay. So we'll be back shortly. All right, so we're out here. Got the new sandblast kit. 
We're gonna try this out. We're gonna try to sandblast these and see what we can do. Back the camera up so we don't get any sand blown in here. Okay, we're gonna use the sandblast helmet. That's never been used before. Isn't that lovely? Try to clean it up a little bit. Somewhere in here, I think I got some Windex. Kids and everybody just left to go to the pumpkin patch. Halloween's here. Well, it's not here, but people around town are already putting up Christmas lights. Can y'all believe it? Right. Grab one more piece and we'll be good to go. this a couple years ago and haven't used it. Y'all bear with me. See what happens. working. I just realized something. I gotta get something long sleeve on. might recognize this jacket. Come down. That's all right.
I'm not trying to get all the paint off. Uh, basically, I'm just trying to get all the flaky stuff, all the rust and everything. I think this one's good for this one. I might get it right there a little bit, but you can see, really all I want to do is just clean them up real good. I gotta blow this off because my urethane fan is. Should have did this before I put the new bushings in, but hey, oh well. So we're gonna move this one to the side. I drop everything. There's a table out here. Call this one done. So y'all bear with me. I've got a mix of sand in here. I got some grit, some heavy grit and some little grit. I don't know which one's working best. Back at it. Put my glasses up. Sandblasting Damien. <laughs> What's going on here? There we go. Said, Primo cover a lot of it up. Move on to this one. 